Art of War. We're there with you on next Thursday. The first Thursday in March. So, you know, say, the, the, the year ago, fast and quick. But I get you where you want to get you. You understand? Because time wait for no one. So we're listening at the background to a sister named Alicia. Yes, Alicia. And before that, we are Courtney John. Brand new music, them. Courtney John. I don't know which part him there, but apparently him down there to me about him all the way to make music. This one is a Rory production. Why oh, you love Rory, you know? Yeah, this is the Stepping Razor. You know, there is a concern that we years ago we mentioned it, but apparently it continued and given what I'm going now with the 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 past in them and the little picnic them and the the disappearance of our little children. We want to remind Jamaica, you know. That there is a thing going on in the uptown high school, them, where young students, female students, is picked up by their lover. Young students is picked up by their lovers, and it's not male lovers, it's female lovers. We are talking about young female students. When school finished, you see certain car driving at the school, them. The uptown school, them, at that, certain car driving. Mercedes, Benz, and SUV, and them thing there. And them coming for them little plating. Now, I will if I want to know say that is going on, you know. Only if I want to know, you didn't know say that I go on, Neil? Mm-hmm. I see it there. At all. <laughs> it's a big thing, you know. Big thing. So, meanwhile, we are turned over this. So, we have to check out, say, the little school girl, them, have, and we are talking about executive women, too, you know. We are not talking about the little ghetto girl where I drive Mercedes Benz, you know. We are talking about women who married, women who have. Big business interests dress up in a them suit and them attach a case and gone in a them place where them spend nine to five. But when them take them break, them take it anytime and them go pick up them girlfriend. These women go pick up them girlfriend at these high school. And apparently, when these little girls go in at these car, other people. It's come for them. When them jump in at the car, them parents, them fees say them parents come for them. But it's not them parents I want to warn the mothers. The mothers. Mothers must take a keen interest. A keen interest. Because we know so a lot of mothers do have no time for go for them children. I went school done and the picnic say them gone go take bus. It's uptown them gone. Uptown. When we say uptown, me I talk about uptown. Them gone uptown. And then they are dropped off. Maybe sometime them drop them off down the road from them yard. Or them drop them off near to the bus where them supposed to take. It's not to talk about, you know. It's, it's not a joke thing. And we have to really check it out. We have to really check out, say. Meanwhile, we did a look on the abuse of our young girls by these big bosses to one man them. We have to check, say. Our young girls is preyed upon by certain women in executive positions in Jamaica who consistently consistently because them have them bends and them live up at the big garden them and the hill them 
them have opportunity. Sometimes you see your picnic with money, you know, you have to check out where your picnic get them money there from, you know. And certain iPhone. And you know, say, you don't have no money for buy iPhone for your picnic. Pick come home with iPhone. And when them are go, they mean a certain kind of clothes. And them have money, can't go buy this and buy that for themselves. And you now give them it. Apart from some of them are big man. I, 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 I mind them. But you have some big woman I mind them too. Only for people don't like you when I talk these things, you know, but it's true. And you know, say it's true, me I talk to. When I dry it out, I don't hot like no magician. It's true. Cash flow say him no say it's true me attack. Yes, the cash flow no. I mean I call the school them name, you know, even though me know somebody school them, you know. I know the school them, you know, but I uptown the school them there and a downtown. The women them who you see have certain SUVs and Mercedes Benz driving into school when school over. And you pick the supposed that. And them come home, come tell you, say, you know, say the bus is too full. And we couldn't catch the bus. So we have to wait long for the next bus. I uptown them gone with their woman friend. And them woman friend do all that thing with them and then let them off. And give them some money. Watch it, you know. Jamaica. We gone away. Believe you me, we gone away. Serious thing. Uh, Chesedek coming to say them were crucifying because in black. You know, so we don't stop Black History Month and none of them program I know. Every month. So the entire year we're going at certain things. It's because we're conscious of where we really want to bring cross to the people them as it relates to them African centered perspective and them Africanness, no matter which one of the program them. So here we are you know. We are go really take a little break and go in at the news and the sport and come forward. We want to remind you that we're going to link up with the sports we are going on, Digital Grand Prix, right? <laughs> All right, and we want to link up with the boat again. Kashima, uh, they are going like they have fun more than people, you know. Uh, last time here, they are wait for very someone come on the stage, but yes, we're going to link up with them on the Love and Arm and the Cruise. Spearheaded by Beris Aman. This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. This is the Stepping Razor, the art of war. As we have said, we have got join um, the Love and Arm and the Cruise where, and it's way to and it's way to Miami where it start. And we are also going to have some report coming from the Digital Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Uh, Wayne Brown is on the location. So we are going to wait for that. Meanwhile, in between time, this is the Stepping Razor. We see where Scotia Bank, I, I, I don't know if them thing are real thing doing. I don't, I don't know if it's real. But Scotia charged $385 fee for change $5,000 note. And where them people are come from, man? I see where the bank tell you, say, if you have a change check, you have to give them $200 out of the check for change the check. And the, 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 amount, of, the amount of interest rate where they give up on your money is nothing compared to the amount of interest where they are charge for people for borrow the money, you know. Now, this article, you know, is really something that customers have so, so sad. <laughs> All right, we are to get twisted there. Customer, customers have... Scotia Bank Jamaica are now required to pay a fee of $385 to change a $5,000 note into smaller denominations. That right? Some can write. I mean, with the Minister of Finance and all them people, they know. Because, I mean, I mean, I understand. The government, I don't like, you give them a money where it's not a legal thing. Like, you give them $5,000, it's not a check you give them. Because it's sound worse than a check thing. You ever have a $5,000 bill and you carry it for your bank or change it and them draw 385 that some can go so? I don't know if some can go so. Something, something, something not right. Last month, customers of the institution filed complaints with the observer online after visiting the bank downtown Kingston branch 
with hope of exchanging the five thousand. Then suppose you have ten five thousand dollar bill. Can you have some of them eat your machine not pay five thousand dollar bill and come out of it? <laughs> no, no, this with hopes of exchanging the five thousand note for smaller denomination. But we're told by the teller that they had to pay a fee for the service. This can't write. This can't write. There's no way this can't write, Rasta. This can't write. This, this can't be something legitimate. I want to let the government know about that. Currently, Scotia Bank charges a minimum fee of 385 for the exchange of coins for paper notes, along with the ends and catchment of checks. So you have to pay 385 dollars for exchange of coins for paper. That means if you have Jamaican coin, you have to pay 285. Let's suppose you have 400 dollars coin. How are we going? Suppose you have 400 dollars coin for get paper money. Say you have four 100 dollar bill. How much you have to get back? 15 dollars. <laughs> No, let's see if they are joking, Rasta. I owe them back. I owe them tea, somebody. Let's see if they are worse than Jamaica Public Service. <laughs> no, this, this, this is a madness. I want them to, I want them to government know these things. I, I, it's a wrong thing, the kids, the observer print. I want, I, I want them to a wrong print. I'm a Cassie. $385. For change kind of paper money and two hundred and eighty-five dollar. If you give them a five thousand dollar bill, you get smaller notes. So <laughs> no, this, this is crazy. So tell me something now. If you have four hundred dollar kind, what you do in a situation like that? If you have a four hundred dollar kind, four hundred dollar with a kind, and you carry it going there. Suppose you have four hundred dollar with a ten dollar bill, ten dollar kind, or five dollar kind. If you have four hundred dollar what? Then we go draw a two hundred dollar, and you realize if you draw a two hundred and eighty five dollar out of five thousand dollar, a four thousand dollar could be to get back. How we how we how we are going? Last December, the bank quickly backtracked on a one thousand percent. Fee hike for non customers wishing to end en catch checks with the institution following public outcry. Well, we need for outcry about this. We need one thousand dollar percent fee for non customers. You know, some energy is kosher bank. I, I really and truly, this is not very heartwarming for, for, for read these things for, for tell the people them say. A bank actually had charged you three hundred and eighty-five dollar for change of five. Then you can't just go. To, you can't just go to a man have a five hundred dollar bill because I'm going to tell you say yeah four hundred dollar. You know, because if you go to the bank, they're going to charge you three hundred and eighty-five dollar. Me and a bank. <laughs> you understand? So me a charge you, me want to charge you. So you can't get away. You have a five thousand dollar bill now. You have to go just eat that. If you want to buy it in a supermarket, you just imagine say, the things that you have to buy and just eat the five hundred <laughs> five thousand dollar bill. And you know the weirdest thing about it, may I tell you? When you go at the ATM machine, you know, you know, it's like a pure five thousand dollar bill that come out of the thing, you know. And you can't go for the man bus. And now they're gonna take it from bus. Yeah, they're gonna take five thousand dollar bill from bus you now because they realize that they can't take just like the bank. You see, I don't think they breed corruption in the society, you know. It starts from the top and trickle down. Because if you go to the bank with a legal tender, which is a five thousand dollar bill, I don't mind telling you, say, when you don't change it to them, you'll get four thousand dollar and fifteen dollar change. A joke business. And if you carry some kind game, they might go take two hundred and eighty five dollar. To give you back some paper money. That means if you carry a hundred dollar kind, them not change it. I don't understand them thing there. I don't know if the government is, is in cahoots with this bank because they make billions of dollars profit, you know. Billions of dollars profit they make. 
And I, I mean, I talk about a year now, you know, I talk about in three months. The amount of money where they make in three months. I mean, no young, young, no business, no mind it, you know, because you can't just give them the $5,000 bill, them and just throw them out of each $5,000 bill. I said, go. They suppose you give them $50,000. Suppose you give them ten five thousand dollars $5,000 bill. A $3,850, I'm going to take out of your... No, no, I mean, I think full, full hour. Bilardo says, can somebody, can somebody, can, can somebody call me and explain this to me? Suppose you give them... Ten five thousand dollar bill. Forget smaller denomination like you are some thousand dollar bill. Get, you're gonna give them ten five thousand dollar bill, which is fifty thousand dollar. And you say you are fifty thousand one on one thousand dollar bill. What that mean for you as a customer now? But I don't want them treat them treat, them treat Jamaican people rough low. Real and treat them treat Jamaican people rough rasta. That shouldn't be allowed. Especially the climate where we live in, I know when people can hardly get money. That shouldn't be allowed, Rasta. Joke business. Real, real joke business. Anyway, we hope, say, somebody out there, I listen to it, we can make a difference to the whole situation and really figure out exactly what is happening. And this specifically mentioned Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank is doing this thing. It's extortion. Extortion, you call it. The bank is extorting people money. And it's a long time nobody don't rob no bank in Jamaica. So they're not losing nothing. <laughs> they're not losing no money. It's not like GPS where Ivan come and mash down the place and then for five, six years you pay for the destruction of where, where the light post them where Ivan destroy. Them tell you, say, you have to go pay for it. And for a couple of years, well, when you get your bill, you see it mark Ivan. <laughs> you say, wait. I moved up in the name of Ivan. Why me appear for Ivan? Why? No, sir. Mm -mm. It's it, 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 it terrible. It's terrible, really terrible. Scotia Bank, Jamaica. Scotia Bank. Remember that name. $385 to change a $5,000 note if you want smaller denominations. And $385 if you have many kinds and you want some notes feed. So please don't go to Scotia Bank with no $400 kind and say you want to change. You want four $100 bill. You're going to get back $15. You got terrible thing. Click it. Yes, the Sporting Choice IRFM now bring you a report from the Digital Grand Prix series at the UCN Bold Track UWI. It's brought to you courtesy of Digital from grassroots to greatness. Wayne Brown, how you do? Wayne. Let's try most of hearing loud and clear. All right, sir. Never mind, listen, listen. Welcome to our listeners back to the UCN Bold Track at University of Western Union. Remember, we have been able to see the professor. Now the event was on the way this morning. The action will be fifteen hundred meters in front of the one. Where, 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 where? Let's move on. You know, I come too clear like yeah, you know. So much mumbling and jumbling. Yeah, you know, I really come too clear. Yeah, you know, I really come too clear. Yeah, you know, I really come clear. Yeah, you know, I really come too clear. Yeah, you know, I I'm here right now. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead then. Yeah. All right, all right, wait. You have to call back because there's somebody talking behind you with louder than you. It sounds like the, 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 the public address system, it sounds louder than you. All right, I'll call back in a short Yeah, call back shortly, all right. Yes, we, we just want to make a, a good connection here. This is the the the, 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 the sporting thing we are going on. This is the Grand Prix, and it's happening right up there at UCN Board Track University at the West Indies. Big things. Yes. Okay, so we could try again to see if we did the outside broadcast. Um... We still are trying, we are waiting for him to come through. 
a move that the Lord speaks are from behind him there, but we don't know what is possible. We don't know what is possible. So, we could continue the journey and see what is taking place musically. Because, you know, music is really the heartbeat of IRFM. And this is really what carried the real estate. Now, I see a thing last week where, well, you know, we passed this year before where the, 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 the vehicle then, public public transport have on a steel glass and it's going for loud music. So I tell you, say, the other day I pass a, a coaster bus and I see a nightclub. I tell you, man, you have light underneath the bus. Pull you a different color light and, and the, the music right at gas station to, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Golden Spring there, you know. The music have built out the whole of the, the square, you know, I tell you, say, no, them people are not easy. But I see where the police them start again for tear off the midnight tint off for the, 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 the public transport them. Don't we do, don't, SS, when name SSP, Lewis did done do that already. Or we reach us again. But not only that now, I want to know. I, all right, make we, make we go to Wien and, and come forward and see where I go on it. So, yes, Wien. Yes, Luther. One, back again. Back again. You're hearing me loud and clear this time. Yes, Luther. You're hearing me. Hello, Luther. Yeah, may I hear you? May I hear you? All right, cool. I'll go right ahead then. So, uh, we are back at the UCN Bulls track at the University of the West Indies for the Corporate Area Development Meet. And um, so far, we have 12 records being broken on the day. And it's important to know that of the records that were broken, uh, there's a, a clear distinction because we have meet records and we have the championship records. Uh, the championship records, they fall under the banner of the Digital Grand Prix. And these events are the 100, 200, 400, 800, long jump, high jump, discus, and 4 by 400 meter relays. And... Uh, the athletes who break records in these events, they will earn for themselves uh, points to qualify for the Grand Prix final. But they also get a, a scholarship of twenty-five thousand dollars, and the athletes who break national records will get fifty thousand dollars in terms of point standing. After ten finals, one hundred and thirty points, followed by Calabar on sixty-seven. Jamaica College is third on sixty-four, with Wilmers fourth on forty-three, and Excel at twenty-one. And over in the girls, uh, after 11 events scored, Excelsior leads the way with 89 points. Camperdown are second on 84, with the Queen's School third on 64. Closing out the top five are St. Andrew High, 31.5 points, and Immaculate, 30.5. And now we, we take a break now just to speak to Andre Roper. He's the brand manager of Restaurants of Jamaica, and we'll be turning into him right now. And welcome to the microphones of uh, IRFM. I'm glad to be here on RF. I'm glad to be here at the Digital Grand Prix meet. All right, okay. So tell us about uh, your company's involvement in track and field at the, uh, the youth level. Well, KFC has long been committed to youth sports. Uh, most Jamaicans would be familiar with our commitment for the last 30 years or so with local youth basketball and the Easter level. But we have moved on. So we're still committed. Also expanded our reach into schoolboy football. We have been involved with the Super Cup over the last couple of years, and we see how that competition has taken off. And of course, track and field and committed to grassroots to greatness. Very, very appropriate uh, mantra. We are committed to him to develop, continue to develop youth in all sports. And it's important for us because we see that these are our future Olympians here today. Um, no pun intended, but our athletes are a big deal. Yeah, our youngsters yeah. are a big deal. Our, our future Olympians are a big deal. And so it's a privilege for us and fitting for us to align the KFC Big Deal brand with local athletics, with youth athletics, and it's particular with the Digital Grand Prix because it's the journey towards champs. Everybody is excited. Everybody sees all the talent that's on display. And so it's one way for us to give back, but it's just you know, our, one of the ways in which we can play our part in helping to develop all the young talent, the, 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 the talent which spreads far and across Jamaica. About, about the, uh, the series itself. Excellent initiative, superb initiative. Um, it really gets you excited and geared up for champs. Um, it gives schools all across the country a chance to show their talent in a way in which they may not have been able to do so before. Um, we're talking about 
radar coverage, you're talking about TV coverage, online coverage, and you're talking about the opportunity giving athletes a chance to win scholarships for their schools and win all these different type of prizes. I tell you, when initiatives like this come along, we are, we are glad to play our part and get on board because um, you, you are, you are, you are giving the kids an opportunity to really showcase their talent and really earn some tangible rewards for their schools. I love the talent I'm seeing on display, but I really, um, have to say, hats off to Digicel and hats off to all the other sponsors who have come on board to help me this reality because, um, we wouldn't get a chance to see a lot of these schools and a lot of these kids on the platform that we have now, and it's really an outstanding. And uh, finally, uh, on a more personal note, uh, you want to talk about your school? <laughs> well, well, I'm an alumni of Champion College. Um, may not have the story, track, and field tradition as some of the other more, um, you know, the, the schools that have done well over the years, but still love Champion College. We'll always back Champion College. Um, but, you know, I love how KC has looked. Um, and what at Calabar, they rested some of their major, some, some of their key athletes that keeps the release the other day, so I know they're going to come good. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this track season so far. I love how St. Mary looks, um, on Monday and Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to a great season. Glad to be on board. It's going to be fireworks mm-hmm. for the remaining meets. Mm-hmm. The finals at GC Foster College, that is going to be fireworks. Looking forward to that. And of course, when we culminate at Champs. It doesn't get any better. I'm just glad to see it getting better and better every year. That sponsor is rewarding for us. Um, as I said, track and field, local use track and field. It's big deal business for us as sponsors and as fans. Believe me, can't get any better. Well, thank you very much. And that was Andre Ropo, uh, brand manager of Restaurants of Jamaica of Champion College, one of the CCs. One of the CCs. <laughs> one of the CCs. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, in terms of records being broken on the day for the championship itself, we have uh, Kemar Ferguson of Calabar. He won the boys class to 800 meters in a stunning time of 1 minute, 52.8 seconds. And that not only shut, shattered the, uh, the meet record, but it was a championship record. And over in the boys class 3 event, we have Jovan Henry of Kingston College running in heat 2. He won in a new record of 2 minutes, 05.57 seconds. In class 1, of the girls' 800 meters, Kelly and Donna of St. Andrew Heights set a new mark after running 2 minutes, 1.779 seconds to win each one, while Shante Chamberlain of Mavis Bank, she broke the meters event in a time of 2 minutes, 1.97 seconds. We have lots more, but uh, I'll tell you more in my next report in just about maybe an hour's time. So for the second time here, the Houston both track at the University of the West Indies. Musa is back over to you live in studio. Yes, sir. We're also going to connect with you again soon. 8.20 for 4.20. We're going to connect with you again. Yes, yes. All right. Blessed man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Cool, cool. Yeah. That was a, a live report from the Digicel Grand Prix at the UCN Bowl track, UWI. It comes to you courtesy of Digicel. From grassroots to greatness. Yes. We love here a track name of one of our greats. You know, we need to change up some of them streets name there. Maybe I will need to change the name of the parish them too. Yes, because you know, I ask somebody that they will name St. Anna and them can I ask some student if they St. James and them couldn't tell me so. And them all got to not that it make any difference to them life still, but it is good to know some things. Yeah, so many that talked before the, 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 the report about the tint where we passed this way before where there was a, a effort to remove the tint them from half a public transport. Now we see it come again. I think was when SSP Lewis is there about five years ago. Mm-hmm. Him, him there, yeah, since the stepping away that I go on him there about three years ago. Him the day I do the same thing. And them have removed license plate that you can take out the tint off of your glass. But I really have a question for ask the police. And, you know, I never talk about it to me get him on the line because I don't really want to set things out of place. Because I'm a man in time, I don't get the real attack things. And then you hear say, why, Muta, you can't talk things in the rest of You understand? So we are going to um, wait till we get him. And then we really figure out 
what the hell is happening when as, as it relates to this removal of tint from from the the public transportation we we'll see a new thing pop up where yes. they are going to now invest no, this is the government people they are going to go to them live and find out really and truly music can be made in the prisons because of what taking place transpire with Lisa and, and her, her statement them two weeks ago when it did pop up you know, they tell you know, say I go in a prison and them have a radio station in a GP and them have a studio in a GP a radio station and studio given that the, the radio station is not like you can't stay here so I hear it it is about Helping the the prisoners them for really know and get some knowledge of transmission and you know is a part of the rehabilitation. The music part is really questionable as it relates to people who depend where we call it now murder charge and it's supposed to be really appealing them charge to find out what is the implication and I, rem I remember saying also that one of Jackie's biggest songs them come out of the prison and I think it was written by a police too but I really want to find out something from the people them who, who do this this youth Youth Awards something. Where them say them go and ask youth on the street. Them say have five, five awards Vibes Cartel get. No, so them say five awards. You know the five awards them? Best one, best one, best one, best one, best one, best one. You don't know. I don't really like find out. If you go up on the road and ask. And the youth, them survives cartel. You can't do nothing about it still. But I don't like, no, apart from best song, which I don't even know the song up to now, where them I say, and I say, Nesbet, Nesbet very arrogantly. I say, him come for collect him award, like him give him award to put out, you never see him. Yeah, him and him can jump up, but I say, him come for collect him award, and to me, I would have done have a little thing on this program already about the, the song them. Um, uh, uh, where, where, where the one where Christopher Martin sing when do the Kentucky? Mm -hmm. We did have a little thing with Big Deal, it and the next tune. Mm -hmm. And the people them actually choose the next bit tune. Now, my, my contention with that award is that it's a youth. But really, I'm sure I don't see no youth. I, 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 I don't see no youth. I, 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 Perform on the show. But I think they would have called on xylophone or one of them little youth there for come sing for the show. I don't see the little teenager youth, little youth. I perform on the show, and them say youth thing. So, it get them to try to get me out tight. Because I don't go, because I have to choose a youth thing that, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you know, when we look at the people, them, and them whole heap of fashion, this and them fashion, that we are going, I say about it. And them big bosom tone people, they might call you, trust that. Them man, I call, them I call youth and them women who wear weird clothes where look like go-go thing. I mean, a youth fashion that. Well, a youth fashion that. But when you go up on the road and ask the youth them the best song and the youth them tell you the song, you can't do nothing about it, you know. But what is the problem with it? The problem with it now is that these songs that we hear Vibes Cartel with, that is the question, you know. How them get met? And isn't the government kind of really late when them know I got to check for them liar, for say? So that means that the government, the government, no know what is the criteria laid down in prison for songs made by artists and come out there and become number one and become like getting an award and all these things. 
And I would like to find out what else him win. Apart is five them say five award. I really want to find out the five award where him win from prison. Best performance. I don't know how that did work. Because I'm in a prison, so I couldn't have the best performance. Best dressed. I don't know. Knowing if him could have well dressed up in a prison too. But I really want to know. I really want to find out. So I have to go find out from, from somebody inside the RFM. I have to tell the five award them that Vibes Cartel get being in prison. Because all I hear is the song. The song where them say best song and they win it over Nesbet. And Nesbet, I tell you the truth, brethren. I love your truth, you know. I'm of things are the best tune for last year, even though it make the year before. I love your tune and I think they are the best tune, but guess what? You kind of surely like Clara Gans when you jump up in the prison and say you come for collect your award like you give people a award for put on. Next bet you never give nobody an award for put on, so you can't go in an award and say you come for your award. You understand? I see you on TV at all, you come for your award. Anyway, we're we'll going to cut chat this and we're we'll talk to, um, we're going to talk to the, 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 the person responsible for <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, um, this is Mota Baruka. I, I, I know you know it's Mota Baruka still, but uh, indeed I know I know it is you, sir. <laughs> you have a bridge, and I, am, I am. Hello. You know somebody you have a bridge, don't it? Uh, long time, sir. <laughs> All right. You were you were trying to figure out just or no? Yes, sir. We, we passed this way before with this. Pardon me? We said we have passed this way before with this tinting and taking off tint off a car and all these things. How long, it, I, I, as the man in charge, how long you think this tinting thing will last? We, can't, we know SS Lewis did don't do it already and then now we see it come back again as a problem again. We really want to find out if this is like a little wonder we are going nowhere. We don't really do have nothing to do. So they decide, say, you know something, make a deal with the tin business again. Is this an uh, ongoing thing where it happens? Or you going to make sure, say, the glass, them not tinted, or it's just something you do. Then one year down the line, we see the tint and the music business coming out of the bus again. And, and, and it is, it is, and I, I love your question, sir, 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 sir Mota. Uh, and it is something that will definitely be ongoing. Uh, I just want to say clearly that public safety and our citizen security uh, remains at top of our agenda and focus. And as such, uh, we are quite aware of the many women and children and taxi operators too that have uh, been negatively affected by crime and violence. And so the whole aspect of what had started before and stopped. I, I wouldn't say that it, 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 it had stopped, but then the announcement by the Honorable Prime Minister definitely has put greater focus and impetus in, in this arena. And I am standing here now in the DCF and saying publicly that these are initiatives that we are prepared to continue to give the necessary focus that we are giving. Right off the bat, I want to commend a number of our public passenger operators that have in a voluntary way removed the tin from their vehicles in order to treat with the compliance and that has been announced. We, we are aware, however, as we are already seeing, that there are many who will only comply through enforcement. And so the efforts of the JCF along with the Transport Authority and the Highland Traffic Authority, is to continue what we have been doing in this regard. So it is something that will be continuing, Sir Baruka. All right. All right. One of the questions I remember, I read in the newspaper last week where it's not only the, 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 the public transport is targeted, but private vehicles too. Yes, but right now we are giving greater focus to the public passenger vehicles. 
So that is where the greater focus but, is right but now. But somebody vehicle, them take off, let them take off, the tint off our private vehicle, and it's very well, it, and, it, and that is quite legal. It's legal. Quite legal. Nothing illegal. But I'm just saying that the greater focus now yeah. is on the public passenger vehicles. All right. We'll be and, able, and, we'll, and, 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 and it is from the perspective of ensuring that as our citizens commute, they can do so with less fear and greater security. Because there are a number of persons out there purporting to be legitimate operators. Yeah. And so we want for our people to realize that what we are doing on the roadways is to, as best as possible, create that atmosphere of safety yeah, yeah, yeah. that as our people commute, they can feel safer. All right, but Mr. And Allen, but here's the point I'm trying to make you know, you see? Because you have fear I come now over the society, when you're looking at the newspaper and say, let me take off the man's license plate because it is not a public transportation. But you say you're not targeting it, targeting private vehicles. No, no, no you I wasn't targeting. targeting. I'm saying yeah. that the greater focus is on public passenger vehicles. But you will but target then, but then, private vehicles but too. But then, let, 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 me, let me say something here, um, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have persons out there, and if you have been looking at the the news, mm. you would have seen where persons out there who would have tinted the entire windscreen yes. and even their mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so, so as, a, as a means of safety. Yes, yeah, Even as you operate your vehicle. Yeah. You know, because, you know, the nowadays car, them come down with tint, glass. Yes, yeah, and, and the nowadays car that comes down with tint, mm comes down with what is known as a factory tint, which is something that is ingrained into the glass. Yes, yes. And 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 they are not there and those are standard motor vehicles that are built, whether in the US or otherwise. Yes, yes. And so those are things that you are able to have inward view of. Yes, yes. Right? What the government has done is to lend some discretion that a person who owns such a vehicle yes. and intends to keep it within the public uh, transportation sector. They have gotten a year to treat with that vehicle if it, if it, if it is that it has not met the required standard to be so operated. All right, so what is the standard that is necessary? So the standard that is necessary, for example, a motor car. A motor car must have no tint at the back glass or the front windscreen, okay. except for on the front windscreen, that six-inch visor from the top. Okay. The two, the two front doors, that is the driver door, and, and the other front door at the, at the mm. for the passenger, no tint. Oh, it, it mean the, like, like, the, like the politician them car, we have the tint right round. Motor. Yes, sir. Let me finish this point now. Oh, yeah, no, because I tried to the, the, two, the two glass, the tint, that is the driver's side. All uh, right, and the two back glass. Mm. The two back glass. Yes. It must have a seventy percent inward view. Okay, that is still for the motor car. Remember now that we are talking about a public passenger vehicle. Yeah, but I am talking about a private transport. But let us do it. Let us do it one at a time, no? Okay, okay. okay. Yes, yeah, when when the producer called me, they did say that they want to find out about what is happening in the public um, transportation sector. Okay, based on these announcements. Yeah. and so I'm just. Um, reiterating the whole yes. aspect of what are the standards yes, okay. going forward. Yes. So that that is the car. Okay. As it relates to coaster buses and the Toyota highest. You are with me, sir? Yes, sir. I'm here, man. I'm here. Right. As it relates to those vehicles, uh, no tint on the back glass or the front windscreen of those vehicles. Okay. Uh, all, the, the only exception is that for the coaster bus, you can have up to a 9 or a 10 inch visor yes. on the windscreen, windscreen. And for the Toyota highest, yes. the same 6 inch as it relates to the car. Okay. okay. The, the, glass, the side glass coming up to the front, the first side glass at the back yes. of the coaster and the highest, no tint. And this is because we want to have a clear inward view of, of the back seat in, in, of that public course. passenger vehicle. We are all aware sometimes of. The, what's going on the, in the back? The, the nuances yeah. takes place there. Yeah. The other side glass coming up to coming up to the where the driver is, there must be a seventy percent inward view yes. going up 
for up to that year. For the driver door, no glass. Okay. And for the one across from the driver, driver. that front, front no passenger, glass. no glass. Okay. okay. No tint. Right. As also that of the conductor. Okay. All right. Yes. You, you have made yourself quite clear. But since I have you on the line, I can't really make you go and do ask with this. What, not, yes, I, I, I run into a meeting, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. What about these vehicles, these public transport, where a man are eating food in a, the thing, and him don't throw the telephone box in the middle of the road? And police, they stop, stop telling and them I do it, and they not say nothing about it. Is this somewhere yeah. you're normally supposed to can do without police anything to you or there's some prosecution supposed to take place. And 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 I know, and I know that you have the answer for that question as you ask it. Because yeah. it is it is a breach of the law for persons to just throw in a form of litter on our road on, on our roadway. It is a breach of the law. And uh, it, it, it it further underscores Sir Baroka the whole aspect of the indiscipline, indiscipline that exists, that we have to be policing yes. several different forms of indiscipline yes, yes. on our roadways. You know, I was just saying to a colleague, I was just saying to a friend of mine quite recently, that if I don't place a policeman at certain intersection, when you get your green, you can't go. And it, and it should not be so. Yes, yes, yes. Because in truth and in fact, the police will never be able to be everywhere. Yes. And so we expect that 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 the inner man, that moral thing that we grew up with, yeah. to play a critical role towards the law and order that we want in country. But given the indiscipline, I think there should be, to me personally, I see zero tolerance for anybody we are drive and throw a styrofoam box out on the road. I think we should lock him up. Fully agree with you, sir. Yes, Fully you agree know. with you. So, well, we hope that, as we say, this will be an ongoing thing with the thing thing and, you know, and the music in the, the bus them too. Yeah. Well, well and, you, and you would have seen, as it relates to the music, you would have seen last week, if you were watching the news, yes. you would have seen, you know, what we had was to do as it relates to a few, a few vehicles. And this too will be ongoing. Yes. Because... It, it is not only the equipment in the vehicle. Yes. It is the lyrical content, content that of course. some of our people have to contend with. In the bus. Inside the bus. Yes. I you understand me? So yes. it is it is not just the equipment, Sir Baroka. Yes. yes. It, is, it is it is that that and I tell you, you know, I really feel it for some of our children and even our elderly persons, especially yes, our yes, women. Yes. Who who has no to go into some of these vehicles terrible, just for the terrible. sake of getting to work. Yes. And so we re we, we remain unrelenting in this regard also, Sir Baruka, yes. as we try to clean up the thing and to bring greater order in our society. Well, I hope that when I call you again, I will be congratulating you and not going back over this thing again. I hope so. Well, well, well I, I, I tell you, I tell you, uh, in terms of what we are, what we have to do, mm. we know it is not going to be something that will just a click of the finger and it yes, is all solved. Yes, yes. We know it's a, it's an ongoing effort, but I'm giving the assurance, yes. right, that as an organization we remain steadfast yes. in terms of bringing that sort of an order. The the, the focus of the transport authority and the island tra traffic authority is is, is similar. And, and, you know, getting the, the critical support from other agencies yes. is, a, is, a, is a good way of getting it across. For people to know, yes, and getting the message across. Okay, and sir. For people to realize what we are about. Yes. Okay, Mr. SSP Lewis. Uh, sorry, sorry, Alan. Um, yes, and Mr. Lewis is my good friend. So yeah, yeah, sorry you know, about he's that. He's my good friend. Yes, okay, sir. I will give thanks. Give thanks for Thank you, brother. Yes. Yeah, that was. SSP Calvin Allen, the new traffic division head, talking about those tint and those loud music in the bus. Where, as we say, we passed this way before, and we hope say them stick to the guns. Okay, this is the stepping razor, the art of war. You know, we, we're going to connect again to the sports in charge of IRFM now, bring you a report from the Digital Grand Prix series at the UCN Bolt University of the West Indies track. It brought to you courtesy of Digicel from grassroots to greatness. Over to Wayne Brown and location. Yes, sir. And uh, welcome back to the UCN Boats track for the corporate area 
development meet and it is the third event of the digital grand prix series series which comprises of five events and just uh, to let you know not much has changed in terms of the point standings because um after 10 finals so far it's kingston college still in the lead and they have 130 points and they are followed by calabar on 67 in the girls jamaica college are third on 64 with now in the boys rather jamaica college is the third on uh 64 with wilmot on 43 and excelsior they run out the top five on 21 points. Over in the girls' event, after 11 finals, it's still Excelsior out in front with 89 points. Capadown, they are second on 84 with the community schools third on 64. And rounding out the top five places are St. Andrew High, 31.5, and Immaculate, 30.5. And before we give you any more details in terms of the record being broken so far, just a quick uh, talk to David and marketing manager of Pure National Ice. Welcome to the microphones of IRFM, sir. Hey, thanks for having me, and Welcome to your listeners. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, so tell us about uh, your company's involvement um, in track and field at uh, this level. Well, we're the newest and most modern ice manufacturing company in Jamaica. Um, we've been around for about a year and a half, and we decided last year to come on board with what we call our ice bath therapy, our mm-hmm. cold therapy zone, which we provided free of cost, uh, full sponsorship to all athletes and schools participating in Digital Grand Prix. We know a lot of schools can't afford ice bath therapy, and some do, um, but we wanted to have it that all could afford it and all it was available to all. And what we've been hearing from the coaches and the athletes is that, you know, they're shaving off sometimes and it's leveling the playing field. That, that's what I get a lot. Uh, we're leveling the playing field by assisting the athletes to recover their bones, their muscles, their tendons, to cool down quickly through hydrostatic pressure. Yeah. And especially for athletes that have multiple events, when they run the first one after the second one, you know, they, they, it, it, it takes a toll on you. Know, and yes, fatigue definitely. and lactic acid in the muscles. And what we have done is given them the opportunity to just get back cool, quick, and ready for your, for, for your next race. Definitely. Um, could we see this being shifted to other sports, maybe like a football? Oh, most, most definitely, because we're currently the sponsor of Jamaica Talawas, which is cricket. Yes. We're the sponsors of Jamaica Scorpions, cricket again. Mm-hmm. But um, we, we want to be, and we have been um, of the, of, over the past year, partnering with netball and badminton and beach volleyball, et cetera, et cetera. So to share it with all sports disciplines, not just track and field, even though we love track and field to, you know, to our hearts. Definitely. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the, the Grand Prix series itself? You know, it's always electrifying uh, being in the company of such esteemed sponsors such as Digicel, Grace, Gatorade, the whole nine yards, BCIC, and it's, it's, it's this is erupting. The athletes are tearing up the track, mm-hmm. getting new records. So yeah. it, you can see the future down the line from where we're sitting here today. And we're just glad to be a part of it that we can provide ice bath therapy for everybody. Yes, I, I think that's one of the more more innovative uh, sponsorship um, arrangements I've heard thus far. Because as you can see, we are, we are having amazing times. And definitely, I don't think a lot of persons would have thought about having something like this, so um, I must uh, say kudos. So uh, what about your school? How are they looking? So well, I'm a champion. A champion? Oh, <laughs> just like Andre Europa. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Andre earlier. But, you know, we're, we're, we're wishing all the best to all the schools, and hopefully champion can bring on maybe four or five goals today. Mm-hmm. And um, thumbs up to everybody. But it's always a pleasure here being with the IRI team. You know, you guys are trailblazers in your own right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, David, and uh, good work. Likewise. Thank you, sir. Thanks. All right. Uh, now, for back on the track, uh, um, in terms of events, one individual events, we had uh, in the boys' class one 100-meter dash, we had uh, Kenrick Jarrett of Camperdown. He won in 11.40 seconds. And in the girls' equivalent, we have Rain Chong of Alpha. She won in 13.25. In the boys' class two, we have uh, Akeem Smith of Kingston College winning in 11.50 seconds. Now, for the girls' equivalent, we have Marika Butler of Mavis Bank. She won that race in 13.16 seconds. And in the boys' 100 meters class 3, we have Corey Waite of Papine winning in 12.27 seconds. The girls' class 3 100 meter dash was won by Jelisa Herman of Immaculate in 13.02 seconds. And we had a number of records being broken in the at, both at the meet level and at, in the digital Grand Prix. And earlier we'd be uh, later to leave out a number of those records for time constraints. And there are some uh, records to fall. We have 
series, we have Russia Lee Jones of Excelsior. She left 1.75 meters to take gold in the girls' class one high jump. And we have also in the class one, Christopher Darby of Kingston College running four, po- four minutes, 0.11 seconds to shatter the previous record of four minutes, 0.5548 seconds. That was held by Delano Rochester of Kingston College. And also note in that boys' race, we have the second place finisher. He's Shane Buchanan of Kingston College. He went below the previous mark with his time of four minutes, 0.125 seconds. In class two, we have Casey's Arimana Rogers. He set a new mark of three minutes, 59.59 seconds. While Deanna Henry of also of Kingston College, he completed the trifecta for Casey with a new record of four minutes to 25.48 seconds. And in terms of individual winners, we have Daniel Stoli, won the girls' class, two shot put with a throw of 13.84 meters. Shadin Adams of Calabar, he won the ball in 43.96 seconds. And Nastasia Fiesi of Camperdown won his two of the girls' class, three events in two minutes, 22.25 seconds. So, Muta, uh, we have another report at 5.05. So, until then... When we should have uh, much more information in terms of the point standings and any further updates in terms of records being broken. And by then, it, it should be more exciting because things are on the track right now. Things are um, sh- shaping up because Kingston College and Calabar, they are trying to lay down a mark ahead of champs. And later, as I said, it should be much greater. So over to you, Muta. This okay, is we from the new track. Yeah, give thanks. That was alive. Report from the Digicel Grand Prix at the UCN Bowl track, UWI, came to you courtesy of Digicel, from grassroots to greatness. Muta Baruta, Courtney Mack, we're going to hand over to you. Some All right, music Mama. news can continue. Muta, you're saying? No, man, right, I said it won't till I'm on the same last night. No, man, Muta, I'm changed, man. I'm changed the cricketer clothes because I'm saying all white and I'm look like cricketer. Me wonder, me wonder, me wonder. Put him the kind of way because the jeans him wearing, you know, it ripped from top to bottom. I said, "Me, you bad to see him when I your shots yesterday." But you want me to say no? You say elephant man. Yes. We have to watch that. You never jump off of the boat, you know. He did say that to us on 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 the e boat. He said, "Oh, you say it." You have me. I said, "The last time we never had ship with him, you know." He said it. The last time we never had ship with him, him always talk to people them. And the people them just get some yes, water and throw up on the stage. That's that joke. <laughs> he, yes. he, he did that yesterday. I really had to run for cover. Because With water. He was really grabbing everybody yeah. and tossing them in the pool. And I could not afford that. He threw the pool. He threw the pool. He threw the pool. He threw everybody in the pool. All right, All right. Sir. All right. Well, we give thanks. Take it easy, uh, Muta. Yeah, well, Irie, Irie. Respect, Muta. Yeah. Give thanks, Muta. Respect. Yes. That was a live report. And the love and arm on the cruise. Yes, good evening, Muta. Good evening. Yeah, what? Can't believe I get you the first time. This is a long time caller, first time, a uh, long time listener, first time. I'm listener, so I'm not listening live. So I just wanted to um, bring up a couple of things that I had on my mind for some years now, but um, I hope it's not disrupting I, 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 the show, come that show, that. program. I, I, I don't think you come that show, you know. You know, a kind of localized program. I mean, to me, it's a, it's a world-class um, level of journalism work that you guys do. You know, you focus on key issues. Um, you know, you analyze the different things that's going on. And I like the way how you vet and research the subject and the subject matters. And you have an open dialogue about a lot of issues. So I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Virgin. Yeah. Um, so... The main thing that I want to point out to you is, uh, or bring to, to, to the forefront is that um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how long that you intend to be on the airwaves, right? But I kind of get disconnected with the flow of the program when somebody else fills in for you because I'm not accustomed to the voice. Okay. So what, what, I, what I'd like to suggest is that, um, and again, it all depends on budget, and stuff like that. But one of the things I think would be helpful for whenever you decide to leave the airwaves is that, like now, whenever you have travel coming up, if you can take some of the people who work with you to get the experience 
that you have amassed over the years so that they can be able to not only voice... I'll, I'll figure that out because when I leave, there's a person here doing the program. I don't know if... I, I, all I'm doing is listen to the program. I, I, I don't know if I can articulate to him how I articulate the program. We would have to just listen to the program, you know? Yeah, but the reason why I'm saying that is because I, I think the level of articulation that you have yeah. and the level of, you know, intellect that you have is based upon your experiences by you've, got, you've garnered over the years from yeah. traveling to different places. Yes, yeah, yeah. For example, like, I'm from Trinidad, right? Yeah, but I and can't carry the person with me. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is that I think it would be a good asset, a development of an asset if the people who are wrong, not everyone, yes. but maybe, you know, every time you travel, you take one or two people and, you know, rotate it. Take one or two people where? On the trip that you go overseas. No, no, way no, go overseas. no, man, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Man, I understand man, that. Man, 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 I have no the whole point of them traveling overseas, right? Yeah, but, be able to under... yeah, but who are going to pay them for you? Who are going to pay them for you? Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I, I initially said, well, it depends on the budget. You know what I mean? It depends on the no, budget. No, the budget not there more than the training. promoter. Uh, invite Muta Baroka to come do something. And Muta Baroka go, go do something. Me can't go tell him, say, say, bring somebody. Because I don't know what the person on the road with me would be learning. What would they be learning? on the road. It's me, I do my poetry if you come home back. Yeah, but yeah, here's, here's what I'm saying, right? I migrated from Trinidad to the U.S. since 95, right? Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about Caribbean history mm -hmm. and, you know, worldwide history when I was in Trinidad. Yeah. But I never really get to understand the depths of how people operate, like anthropology, anthropology as you say. Yeah, exactly. I never really get to understand anthropology to that level. Even like with Caribbean people. Mm -hmm. I grew up around Caribbean, different Caribbean people in Trinidad, but I never knew where they come from until I came here. Yeah, yeah. And, well, I came to New York and, and, you know, like New York has pretty much like everyone from different places. Mm -hmm. It's only when I got to New York and I started on TV and from listening to music. But actually, like, listening deep into conversation about how people think, how they operate, how they behave, yeah. I never really got that until I got to New York. Yeah, yeah, I understand you. But in my case, uh, I mean, though, in yeah, my right. case, when I go up foreign and when I stay here, it's two different motorways. I, I, I do the program from where I is to like, for two years now, we're going to Africa. We take the program. We, we, we broadcast live from Africa. Now, we see them have a man. We just see them connect it to, to the boat up on the sea, you know. And I say, maybe I can carry that, that equipment with me and broadcast a foreign from a hotel room. You know, that is the, the, the science and technology, you know. That is where it is. So, maybe I can talk to them about it. You see, anytime I leave here, I can't talk without them in uh, Africa, in uh, Asia, in uh, Europe. I can broadcast the program still on a Wednesday and Thursday night. So that is the next thing. But if you say, carry somebody with me, I don't know about that part then. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, yeah. I, I understand the frustration, but people is always here doing the program. There's always what happening. But we have to move now, Bridget. We have to move. Give thanks. All right, cool. Well, thank yes, you very much. Thanks. Yes, I read. Give thanks for the time and the energy. Give thanks for all who contribute to the show today. Shamara, Young Young, Neil, um, Cuban, um, Shane Clark, Ratted. Uh, give thanks for Vita. Vita, you know, man. Me, 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 you know. <laughs> me, 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 me,